There he is. There he is. What is he wearing? What you laughing at? <laughs> it's a jungle out there. I'm just scared. I'm just scared. I used this. Yo, what's up? They didn't tell me you'd be here, Stanley. I tell JJ. Joanna. Yeah. I was expecting you though, Nikki. Yeah. Easy. Oh, I got you a present. Oh, really? Yeah. I know you like art, so I figured you'd like this piece. <laughs> Yes. Painting you something. <laughs> Anyone else want a piece too? I got some art just for you. I kind of like it. I want that. I would What's up? Jungle. They can see my art now. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. I feel like I've seen you on a TV there. show or something. <laughs> One piece. Yeah, yeah. Will you? Was that you? <laughs> One piece. One piece. <laughs> Oh, are you the guy from One Piece? Wow. Yeah, that's me. Wait, that's Naruto, right? This is Naruto, that's right. It's a little bit different. A little bit. So you got, you, you don't again, look like you're from Naruto. He's in the like, swamp life. I'm like, oh, Jesus, no. Don't do Django, that. Django, I haven't seen you for like almost seven years, six, seven years. I changed a little. Things yeah. are different. Everything uh, changed here, not you. Let's have a change, please. Hey, there, how's it going? Been in some situations. What kind of situation you been? A lot of situations. For example? Thank you, Mike. And now I got a cousin I never knew about named Dan Diego. Oh, actually. Dan Diego. You ever met him? No. You might. No, 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 I haven't. I dress a little different. All right. Jungle, are you buying it or are you waiting? You want to buy or wait? Uh, <laughs> I need some chips. Okay, give me a game. Give me five. <laughs> 150,000. <laughs> you played 150,000. Oh, are you, are you going to buy for 500, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they got my wire, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not, yeah, right. Who I, got, who I got to ask it's around here for my wire, for my money? 200 to call. He's playing 150,000. <laughs> they got my wire, right? <laughs> wait at me, wait at me, right? Uh, yeah. Jungle? I'm happy when I'm winning. The only bad news is I promised Mariano that, uh, you know, because it's a 6,500. Saturday, there's a game. I said, that was three weeks ago. Okay, I'll come with you. But then I find that oh. my wife is traveling. I wish my kings would hold versus Andy and I couldn't be up to Andy Chan. Huh? I wish my kings would hold versus Andy. Oh my god. See, game, not gonna lie, game was, game would be even better. Yeah, obviously. All you have to do is die. Game was gonna Dude, be pretty good. Dude, if either of us scoop there, this game is fucking... It's <laughs> gonna become <laughs> sicker than anything anyone's yeah. seen in the world. Does Andy tilt? Oh, it's uh, so harder than at you. Really? Okay. When Andy gets tilted, bro, those chips go in the pot fucking fast. <laughs> I'm not kidding, too. Like, a lot of them, and he puts them in without thinking. Like, he's just like, 20,000? Okay. Like, he just, like, no, throw, like, yeah, like, he just chucks them in, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, half, half but like, you, have to, like, you have to get him there. He's pretty controlled on stream, but that would have gotten there. <laughs> Versus me. He would have added, like, $9 million. And every hand would have been fucking 50k plus. It would have been fun. Maybe next week. We have time. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna extend my trip. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, I'm canceling the lodge. <laughs> 55 large. What? What? What just happened? How, how does Jungle Man ever fold that hand? 
I would never dare to make a move on Mickey. <laughs> Don't make me find out later. And Dennis Dave tells him he would never bluff there. What a what, what a strange fold. Jungle Man with top top with a nut flush draw. Gets check raised to 55,000 and lays it down in position. I mean, nobody makes a move on Mickey and gets away with it. <laughs> what a wild fold. What a crazy air ball bluff by Dennis Day with queen eight of clubs on that board. What is Jungle Man thinking? Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Just a little bit. Twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Wait a minute. I make it three. Three. Jungle man raising it up. Bobo is going to put some pressure on him. Three betting right away. Make it ten. Ten. I like this ten. I like this ten. You like this? I like, I like call it. ten. Yeah, I like this ten. Hmm. Flush draw for Jungle Man. It's gonna be very difficult for Bobo to figure out a way to win this one. $13,500 back over to Jungle Man. Bobo doing this with just absolutely nothing. And he's trying to rep a big hand, but Jungle Man's not going to go anywhere. Not with Ace, Queen of Clubs. He's got to think that is at least at minimum his Ace is good. And obviously a club would be good. But Bobo is playing this hand like he's got no repair. And the question is, how much money is he willing to put in the pot? to get Jungle Man to fold. You already raised the 20,000 on the flop. It looks like he's about to put 30 or 40 in there. And he goes 25. Jungle Man not getting a bad price. A little bit more than three to one to make this call. Plus, of course, implied odds. Think about how lucky Bobo got here. I mean, how thin. Bobo drawing, I mean, just almost dead. I mean, you need a nine that's not a club, a right? Club Basically, the nine of diamonds, the nine of spades, nothing else in the deck, and Bobo hits it. Unbelievable. So Bobo goes from bluffing and trying to rep a big overpair to, well, maybe my nine is good. From our viewing perspective, probably the le one of the least interesting hand cards in the deck. As now it's far less likely that Bobo will continue bluffing. Or betting even. Jungle Man cutting out those 5K, those chocolate chips. And he's going to raise. Wow, this is getting really interesting. By the way, on the flop, 
I almost just figured Bobo was drawing dead unless he could get bluff him. I almost didn't even see the nine come off. $146,000 in the pot. It's 35 back over to Bobo, who's got a nine now. And he's going to make this call. This pot is somehow ballooned up to $180,000. One of the biggest pots of the night. The river. It's a blank. Can Jungle Man fire one more time? Bobo's got 154 left. There's 181 in the pot. What does Bobo do if Jungle Man moves all in? Jungle Man looks like he is reaching for some big ones. And what looked like it was going to be Bobo bluffing has changed with Bobo hitting a two-outer on the turn. And now it's Jungle Man who's in a position to bluff. The guy is constantly drunk and saying stupid shit. Somebody will want to. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you get those good shots in there. The green chip, like a cherry on top. Jungle Man is going for it. It looks like 126. 126. That is almost all of Bobo's chips. $306,000 in the pot, one twenty-six to call. And he lets it go. What a bluff. So bluff. Hmm? So bluff. Oh, I can't bluff here. Oh, you can. No, no. No, Mickey can't bluff here. I'm... Oh, my God. Show us. Come on. Show us one time. You want to see? OK. Oh, show. OK, OK. Yeah, okay. okay maybe, OK, maybe I'll bluff. Oh. Oh. That's right. You want me to do it? If I call Irene. Yeah, he's high. Yeah, I'll have some tea. I hope so. Yeah, I have I bigger than him. <laughs> I hope so. He has pocket pair. No, no pocket pair. What? No pocket pair. You don't have an eight, right? No, eight he called. No, 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 uh, eight. Eight, eight he snap call. <laughs> oh, so sick. Huh? He bluffed me. No, I can't believe it. I thought you were going to call. You put the chips and you were like... Wow, wow, what a hand that was. That was just a really, really cool spot. Pair of sixes for Stanley, pair of eights for Jungle Man. Of course, 
It's not about money. It's I want to play. <laughs> Stanley now with two pair. <laughs> $25,000 in the pot. Stanley has checked action over to Jungle Man. And it looks like he is cutting out some bluffing chips here. Turning his pair of eights into a bluff. He does have the eight of spades. $20,000. But I think he correctly realizes his eight is no good. Open. And Stanley Joy is just like, yeah, whatever, dude. I call. Hmm? Michelangelo, come on. Hmm? All right. Oh. Hmm? <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. $66,000 pot headed to that man who is giggling all the way home. Revenge. Revenge call. Revenge call. Revenge call. Revenge call. More, more revenge. No, Sam, Sammy. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what just happened? We are Stanley. Team Chinese, China, okay? Team China. Team, huh? team. Team China. China. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. forget to uh, tell you about it. I didn't realize it was Team China on the table. <laughs> it's a bit of a situation <laughs> over here. <laughs> My name is Mickey, in case you haven't figured it out by now. I'm the modern day Mickey Angelo. Now I heard, I heard there was a Picasso at the table. This guy goes by Picasso, at least he used to, but he's has been. Now Mickey Angelo's in charge. I'm talking about, well he says, he calls himself Airball. He says it's his last name. Yeah, it sure seemed like an Airball today. He was full of hot air. I made him my little bitch and he barely even said anything. He said like, yeah, I'm, I'm your bitch. That literally what he said multiple times. I was very disappointed. And I play with the world's best little home youth. He's got 16 bracelets. There's one every tournament you, you could think of. And he left a little early. I'm a little disappointed in Phil. I was expecting a little, more, a little bit more. Mickey didn't come here to just play kitty games. Mickey came here for the real shit. Where's it at? I didn't think it'd be this easy to take control. 